Libra, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this Libra, I trust that there is a message here for you. Whether you're a regular viewer or perhaps this has just uh, dropped into your feed and you felt called to click on it, well, there's something here for you. So let's frame it up with a couple of oracle cards and I'm starting with Step Out of Your Comfort Zone, Libra, North Node. So, uh, you know, you're being told that maybe, you know, what you are trying to achieve here or what you want is just outside your comfort zone isn't it always the way because there's often a divine test of growth in terms of you know changing your reality if you do have your birth chart right your astro astrological birth chart do check the house and sign that your north node is in because so you know it goes that there are clues as to your life purpose and what you should be focusing on in this lifetime and the south node is what we need to move away from that was our influence in your previous past life. So maybe you are uh, needing to step out of the familiar and into the unknown, and that's when you achieve your purpose. Let's go to the Oracle of the Angels, receptivity. Yeah, I mean, there's something to receive here. Now, you might be receiving uh, information intuitively, ideas, insights, etc. But I also feel that this is the energy of receiving physical, tangible results and outcomes. So stepping out of your comfort zone is how you will really receive not only the growth, but the results and outcomes that you're hoping for. Okay, I'm going to draw you a major arcana. Then I'm going to go to the full tarot deck. Huh, the sun, isn't that gorgeous? And we sort of see this big orb of light in both of these cards and the sun so you know so the saying goes is the most positive energy of the tarot and it talks about overcoming a challenge a, a block an obstacle it brings rebirth it brings light it brings healing it's the energy of leo which asks us to have the strength courage and bravery to follow the heart so we've got a heart calling that's outside your comfort zone and you're being asked to follow that bravely because that is where you truly receive. All right, you might be dealing with a Leo as well. Okay, Libra, I'm using the Star Child Tarot. Nine of Pentacles, that is how you receive. What will you receive? Well, the Nine of Pentacles is all things health, wealth, vitality, and abundance. And it's a number nine. It's about that coming into fruition, you know, uh, in terms of a, a material, tangible sense. It's also the card of independence and self-sufficiency. So you, the comfort zone that you're stepping out of, it might be, I need to go it alone, or maybe I am you know, leaving an employee job or an organization to go contract or freelance. It could be, you know, going financially out on a limb with an investment. Sometimes it can be leaving a relationship to, you know, have your own independence as well. So it's out of your comfort zone, but it feels like it's going to bring you into your power. Oh, look at that, the death card. And it's called transformation in this particular deck. And again, we see this light at the end of the tunnel energy. And the death card is like a slate clearing energy. Release to rebirth. Letting go to liberate. So what is that comfortably numb or comfortably known situation that, you know, might be holding you back? And, you know, yes, it's okay to stay in comfort, but not if it's getting to the point where it's impacting you or holding you back from your goals, right? I always see in this card somebody who's leaving that small space, right? Something that's kind of keeping you constricted and stepping out into the, uh, into the light. And that's when it's almost like your whole energy and being is unleashed. So the death card talks about a new dawn, new day. And you're being told there's full summer there, meaning there's full growth. There's so much opportunity. Death card is the Scorpio energy, which is about transformation of what has become toxic into what is positive. When is this happening? Taurus season. Now we are really, really close to Taurus season. Uh, the exact day evades me, but we're talking within the next week and into the first three weeks of May is where you have the critical turning point. And the Hierophant usually talks about 
um, like new commitments, new contracts. It is sometimes leaving behind a kind of a system or a hierarchy, uh, an organization, sometimes a marriage with this energy and really going in your own direction. And it can be because you might have reached a point where there is a values misalignment. You know, I always say that we need uh, shared values and a common goal and vision and lifestyle for a job or a relationship or whatever situation this is for you to be you know, positive and lasting. So this is asking you to consider whether you have that alignment. And I think we are looking at are stepping beyond that and going your own way in independence and that I'm being told here will be your biggest victory and your biggest win and the ace of swords talks about gaining clarity seeing the truth and then allowing that sort of truth to carve out your new path that's a beautiful energy of an inspired new beginning it is a gorgeous energy of the win and I just feel that by stepping out of your comfort zone, that is the energy that you really do receive. So I'm actually going to leave it there and I'm wishing you the very best with it, Libra. If you'd like a personal reading to explore this energy further, the first link down below will pop you over to my website where you can check those out. There is the link to my Instagram and TikTok accounts down below as well and Facebook. I'm very active and interactive on those accounts if you'd like more daily readings and inspo. And there's also my immersive tarot course, The Initiation, that is linked down below. If you'd like to learn to read the cards and guide yourself, I teach a full foundation and all the basics and my signature reading process for professional reading. So that is there for you if you like. I'm just going to wish you all the love and magic, Libra. Do take care. Bye for now.